I've been trying to catch this freaky fence guy for a long time. He was so cocky, he told me, you'll never do a story on me. Buddy, you were really wrong. Here comes a fence man going on the offense. I'm with my son, Colin. You have a call. Please don't even start this right now. His name is James Gowen, and he's going to let me know he can't believe Rob Walchick is so rude as to bust him in front of his kid. People are crawling with their kid, bro. Get out of here. You call me. Listen, you've been taking money don't from have, a bunch of people have, and not completing have. these jobs. Don't so don't give me some moral hey, ethic. Hey, hey. Why is this guy giving me a hard time? He's supposed to be out building fences for his customers. Yeah, Has he ever done anything? No. The only time he stepped foot on this property was to come and get his deposit. This guy is really just a big con artist. This fence contractor has more unfinished jobs than a picket fence as pickets. He gave me one excuse after another as to why he couldn't be there or what he had to do. I think he, he is a crook. But the fence man, no interest in mending fences. I can't wait for my day. Before. That's good because he may not have to wait for long. So you took money out of your 401k right. to pay for this? Yep. 5,000 bucks? 5,000. This is Paul and Janice of Southgate. They wanted to replace this fence, so they hired a fence contractor who lives two blocks away, James Gowen of Infinity Fence and Deck. They signed the contract in June, but every time James Gowen said he'd start the job... No, no call, kidding. no show. After months of waiting, Paul had enough of the dude two streets over. He went to his house and what happened? I knocked on the door, nobody answered, and his garage door was open, the lights were on, nobody would come out. I gave him $1,342.50 deposit. Joe lives in Southgate, too. He and the guy next door went in halves to have James Gowen build this fence. Look, he did a good job. So he didn't hesitate to use the guy again when his neighbor on the other side decided to go in halves on a fence as well. Together, they paid $2,600. But as you can see, there's no privacy fence here. After waiting all year, he wanted his money back. James's response? I will not receive a refund on my deposit that I've given him until he speaks with who, whomever he needs to speak with. His exact words. Who the hell is that? What does that mean? Joe filed suit, but James doesn't just allegedly cheat people around the corner. Kathy lives in Riverview. And how much did you give him? $4,600, and he cashed my check. And some of his customers haven't just been waiting this year. You gave this guy the money not this summer, last summer? Yep, 2023. Kathy and her husband Nick paid James Gowen close to a five grand deposit to tear out their old fence and put in a new one. He hadn't done a thing. Kathy says among his excuses was he had family members with cancer. His mom is on hospice, his mother-in-law is on hospice. And while that's sad, Here's what's sadder. Since August of 2023, I've been dealing with colon cancer. I've had multiple surgeries uh, where I was in the hospital for numerous days, unable to uh, do much, but I was still working every single day. You gave him 5,000. 5,500. And he hasn't I've seen done it. zip for it. Connie lives in Dearborn Heights. She hired Infinity Fence in 2023 as well. He said, I'll do it first thing next year, so. I know that he could have started in April this year. And I waited, he didn't call me, I called him, and it's just been a pile of excuses ever since. She accused James of ripping her off, but according to her, he said. Oh no, I didn't steal any money. Well, I don't know what his definition of stealing is. Next up, Mary, who paid James 4,500. May 20th, I gave him, he cashed it that same day. Mary is suing James. Dwayne is ready to fight as well. Coming after you, I want my money. Another customer, another victim. I'm retired. I can't afford to lose $2,750. So what's James going doing? Well, I sure never saw him doing any work. His trucks are pretty much at his home 24-7. He pops his head out of his garage occasionally, and once we followed him to a gas station for a snack break. But a break from what? I don't know. Finally, he leaves. But he doesn't go put up a fence. He goes to Kroger. This is my only chance. Let's go. Hi there, James. I'm with my son, Colin. You have a call, please. Don't even start this right now. I'm with my son at here. Okay, well, tell your son to get in the car. No, I need to talk to you. You haven't called me to talk to me. I called you twice. You, you haven't got back to me. You've never called me? Yes, I have. That's a flat-out lie. I checked my phone records.
You can call me. There's no judgments against me. There's no nothing. Three month three. Okay, there will be, don't you no, think? No, no, there won't be. I okay, so you. what's going on with this? I gotta go get my other kid from the bus stop. So you give me a call, we'll talk, okay? I promise you. I can't wait for my day in court. Okay. Right? Have a good day. Why are you not doing these jobs, James? Here's my card. Back at the station, I call James and he gives me permission to record him for broadcast. Never done nobody wrong ever. I don't plan on doing anybody wrong, and I'm not going to do anybody wrong, and that's a fact. Well, it seems like you've done all these people wrong. I start going through his unhappy customers one by one. And you got Mary Perino, $4,500 check, supposed to be done by July. Can yeah, I don't understand how people can just go to you and then not come to me and give opportunities to do these yeah, jobs. Like, I don't these think people, that's what's... I'm not returning my recall. Oh, I, I don't think so, James. Remember, I have tons of texts from his customers. James put them off time and again. He says he's mad at Joe for writing bad stuff about him on Facebook. So even if the guy went to the Facebook group and complained about you, you still got to do the job. You took his money. Oh, of course I do. And I should be given that right to still do the job. Well, go do, the, we go do the job. James Cohen never gives me any real reason for not completing any of the jobs. Kathy Mullen. Can't speak on that one. Go ahead. What else you got? Next, you got Connie Haynes. Say. Connie Haynes from Dearborn. No, can't speak on that one either. Why don't you just give these people their money back? That's a question that's going to have to get handled differently. I mean, it's not that cut and dry. Here's what is cut and dry. James Gowen has been arrested by Southgate Police, charged with three felony counts of taking money under false pretenses. Poor James Gowen. A lot has happened in the week since I confronted him in the Kroger parking lot. Gowen, Gowen, God, you're in the Hall of Shame. James Golan is being held in the Wayne County Jail. His bond is $75,000, 10%, which he has not come up with. He's being charged as a habitual offender because he's already a felon. So James Golan could be going down pretty hard.